What's up, everyone? It's Shaf, aka That Mill Guy, coming at you with the next episode of Exploring Mill. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a four color mill brew that I thought I would put together. Why do I want to put that together? Well, I thought of multiple things here. So Saltai Mill is at the tip top of the list. Then we got Demir. And depending on who you talk to, Esper is going to be either above or below Demir, but not close to Saltai. We have the, we have the three established archetypes. And Big Daddy Luros is still running around, right? Recurring creatures out of the yard. So I'm thinking Pat to Exile has to be pretty solid. Getting rid of Luros and also stuff like Croxa. Then I'm also thinking, well, the Yorian strategies, the control strategies are also pretty popular and everyone keeps saying that Mill can't beat it, but we can beat it. But to further help us against that strategy, why not play Teferi Time Raveler? So take some notes out of Esper's book. So I thought let's mash together Pata Exile, Teferi Time Raveler, Sultai Uro Mill, and maybe some sideboard cards here and there from White, put it together and technically, it may feel like it's aimless, but functionally we have a meta breaker here. That's what it is in concept, not exactly what I'm saying. But we'll see what happens with the list in the games, okay? Let me know if this is something that you wanna see in the future. Let me know if you wanna see me do more mill brews. Maybe in the future we could do a Hedron Crab Scape Shift Lift. Well, we could be running Valakit as an alternate win condition through damage, or we could be running mill as a primary win condition. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, leave a like, leave a comment, share, whatever it is, all that cool YouTube stuff. Join me for the games, the list is down below. Remember that even the impossible is possible. And as we ponder that thought, remember to join me next time as we take a glimpse into the unthinkable. What's up everyone? Four color mill, as you know from the intro, why are we doing it? No idea, but we're doing it just to jam broken cards together. So yes, we'd love to play first. Let's see what our opponent does here. So Luros is revealed. This hand is weird. Huh. Can't, can't keep it. Um... Yeah, we can't keep it. We got a mulligan. Even though we're potentially playing against a discard strategy, uh, we're going to have to. Uh, th this hand is fine, though. I think we can keep this. What we can do is we can hide this hollow fountain. Uh, so we can keep this. We can hide the hollowed fountain. Um, and, th and then we have a snow-covered island at least uh, to go off of. Hopefully, I don't know. We don't know what type of Luros build this is. Um, Grixis, Luros, Blue Black Luros, Luros Jund, um, Luros Devoted Combo, like, oh man. It's one of many things. Luros Shadow, which is kind of Grix, I don't know. It's just literally so many different versions, but who knows? Who knows? Oh, they're gonna fetch as well. It looks like Mesmeric Orb is gonna be the only thing they're gonna be able to take out of our hand. You love to see it. You love to see it. Um, Visions Beyond is obviously the nuts. Okay, so it looks like Luros Jund here. So we'll do this. Yeah, Luros Jund. Okay, if that's what they're going to grab off of Bloodstained Mire, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, that's pretty solid, actually. I like that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just get our spells out, right? Um, what are we really worried about? Well, if I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna be Croxa. It's gonna be Croxa. Because that's their way to functionally beat us here. So let's do that. Let's see if we can find a Croxa. No Croxas yet. I got a seal of fire. Um, I think we can get, I think we can shock out. We want a black source. Yeah. So we're going to shock out an overgrown tomb. There's the Croxa. That's what I was looking for. Um, oh, no, no need to do it now. We can uh, undo here. So we can just play this. Right, no need to do it now. We can just do it on their upkeep. Uh, yeah, but we got 20 cards in their yard. That's what we care about. 
but the mill one. 22. So no Luros value coming out just yet. We're gonna crock it here. Just get that get that long-term value out. Cause once that's gone, um, if we can get some type of semi-presence, okay, that's fine. Bolt is fine. If we can get some type of semi-presence going, um, then we can be pretty far ahead with a Okay, so they're not playing Goyf. They're just gonna I okay here. That's pretty powerful. So they, they have Coligan's command, which is oh man, if we just pick Coligan's command there, that would have been the nuts, but oh well. Uh, they're going to look themselves into a blank hand. Um, and we're really just going to be attacking their black source. That's what it's going to come down to. We're going to attack their black source. Sure. Yep. Sounds gooch, mate. Sounds gooch. Okay, they see the path to exile. <laughs> they see the tech, they see the tech, okay. Can't hide it for too long, I guess. Okay, so we play the Field of Ruin, we wait till they, you know, kind of tap. And then, uh... We can have them K Command, I, I don't even mind that, actually. Like, we could give them the K Command mana here. So we got rid of the, like, a, like a basic gear. Pretty relevant, pretty relevant, I would say. That's what we want, right? At some point, you know, we could turn into land destruction here. Four color land destruction. So at this point, we have our black source. We have our green source. We probably want double green, actually, um, to some extent. We could also grab our white source just to keep things varied. I think grabbing a white source is probably logical, especially because we don't have the double blue. Uh, so we'll grab a white source. We'll, 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 we'll spread ourselves out. That way, if we top deck a Teferi or something, we still have... Oops, sorry. We still have live draws. That's fine. K Command's going to blow that up. That's perfectly fine. And uh, if that's how they're going to use up their turn, so be it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so they're going to use the second one, I guess, for reanimation or something like that. So we, we, we've covered our bases, we've got our colors, although it is in an awkward way. Um, okay, um, so, all right, we'll see, we'll see where we can get. We're not, we're going to be top decking, we're going to be top decking the, uh, or Uro now. So I imagine K command is the, is, I imagine you just K command and pass. They could also go for Luros, but I don't know. It depends on what they, what we could top deck. Okay. Just gonna go for, just gonna go for that, okay. Okay, that's a solid top deck. That's a solid top deck. Okay, so we're gonna do that in case we draw path. So this is how we're gonna grind ourselves out of this game. New, alas, okay. So, again, slightly punished, but I still think getting the white source was 100 correct um we just want to cover all of our top decks especially because you know the chances of losing that mesmer orb was pretty high uh, and i think at this point they'll probably go luros goif um okay that's that's another problem in itself <laughs> that's another problem in itself okay cool 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 sure so i mean hey post board we have a lot of options here. More removal, Ashiox come down, a lot of things to like here. So, um, might not even bring in that Fort Surgical, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's fine. Perfect, oh wow, okay, so we just top deck it. Okay, let's see if we can grind ourselves out of this. Okay, so we got our, we got them. Bang, bang, okay. Um, well, we wanna reduce types, right? Um, not that it really matters. Three, four, five. Yeah, not that it really matters, but removing a creature, removing an artifact, right? We're, we're making the minimal efforts. Um, no. Okay, so we got a 6-6. Six, six. It's better than nothing. Um, we have a 6-6 six, six that we can still cast again. Like, they can attack with that Goyf, um, and we can just cast it again. It's not even a problem. We'll probably block here. I, I imagine their play is going to be... Uh, we are going to block here. Their play is going to be cast. 
um, Luros, play another Goyf, something to that nature. Um, ooh. Ooh, I probably saw that. No, I didn't. Did I? No, they didn't grab that with K Command or anything. They literally just top decked that. Okay. Well, that's probably game over then. Ah, <sighs> yeah, it's probably game. Okay. So you bring in the board wipes. You bring in, yeah. Um, hmm. We have options. So they could play Luro Seal of Fire, in which case we're just dead. Yeah, I think they just have it anyway. They have 12. Although, no, they have exact lethal. That's what I was going to say. If they play Luros, but they still have the green. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll call it there. That's fine. They could go Luro Seal of Fire. And uh, that's game there. Okay. Begin sideboarding. So Teferis are bad here. Fairies are bad. Um, there's probably some amount of surgicals. Let's try this out. Let's not put in surgicals. Let's bring in the board wipes, crypts, uh, removal, Ashiox, Ashiox, timely. Just like all the removal in the world. Um, Take out one trophy. Just kind of replace. Uh, I mean, trophy is still relevant, right? To a certain degree. Take out one orb. Take out one Uro. It's not going to be... We, we have a lot of removal anyway. Um, we could bring an Aether Gust. It's an option. Um, I think that's fine, though. Maybe Timely is a little too greedy. Maybe we want Uro. But I imagine they bring, they're going to bring in some hate... I think we're going to be going for the mill plan, just the mill and control plan. And Uro is just going to be a lot of times just a single ETB or something. So we're, we're, we're just going to bring in our removal, bring in our wipes. And I think we should be Gucci from there. This is definitely a matchup where like adding that white isn't necessarily going to change up a whole lot. Yeah, like Teferi doesn't really add anything. This is not a matchup for Teferi. Path to Exile does actually provide some value, uh, just being able to exile um, stuff, especially exiling a Luros if we manage to catch them without one. But this is definitely a matchup that's going to suffer a little bit, especially that that beginning we weren't able to kind of get through some Astrolabes. But I think we're good here. I think we're going to be pretty solid. So mm, this is awkward. We're going to mulligan. Yeah, yeah. We're going to keep this drop hollowed fountain press done there um, and we'll open it up nice and simple, right? It's very land heavy, but we have the polluted delta to later fetch into something else. We have some redraws. I imagine they start off with an inquisition thought seizer or something. They will take the glimpse here because that essentially inerts the crypt. Um, yeah, it just seems logical here. Taking crypt isn't what I would do. Um, yeah, that's fine. That is, oop, I, I hit the mic again. Yeah. Okay, so we'll play Polluted Delta, pass the turn. This is one of those matchups where you start learning that like, like a lot of people ask like, why not play Veil? Or why am I not a fan of Veil of Summer in the sideboard of Sultai? And it, it, it's one of those things where like it's only good in that first turn and then it becomes terrible it just becomes awful god awful like it's going to become almost useless it's just a redraw it's just a functional redraw it could help against removal i guess um but man it's a really hard sell let me tell you that it's a really hard sell uh so we're gonna grab overgrown tomb as a green and a black source just, I, just to diversify. Perfect. So we'll play this. We'll play this. So they know two cards in our hand. Um, they don't know the mystery card. Okay, Goif. Goif, Goif, Goif. Gwath. So they didn't have a removal spell. They would have used it there. But they are still full-handed. They didn't have a uh, Renin Six either. I would imagine Renin Six was the play there. 
Um, if they go for a Loros here, I think I'm just inclined to cycle visions just to find a removal spell. I think I'm pretty inclined just to do that. I don't actually mind milling myself either with this snow covered. Oh, you're brutal. Oh, you're brutal. Take him. Takes crypt, probably. Uh, yeah, crypt is the take here. Okay. Mm, I don't know. That opens me up to a lot. Crypt Christian is actually pretty powerful here, so I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Good. I didn't. I didn't want the. I didn't want to give them abrupt decay uh, to take away. Good. Uh, do not use that redraw. Okay. Perfect. So let's see what we can get. Okay. Ravine is a problem. So they don't want to play out any threats unless they. They don't even want to play out Luros unless they can get the value off of Luros, which is pretty smart on their end. Ooh, now that, that is a card. Perfect. Um, yeah, I like that card. I like this card. I like this card. Perfect. We're, we're, we're just gonna get out of there. We see the fact that they're slow playing. They're likely gonna go Luros, land, Tarmogoyf, get that out of there. Get that done now. Uh, yeah, they're, they're getting desperate. They want that goif. They want that goif. Um, we're going to discard Crypt. Crypt becomes super useless um, once this goes down. So get that out of there. Perfect. And I imagine here they could go Luros uh, goif. That might be an aggressive way to do things. In which case, we are obviously going to be abrupt decaying. Then Ashiok. You know what I mean? Very simple. Oh, play it, play it. Maelstrom Pulse, Jesus, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Okay, um, so I'm pretty open to this. Pretty open to this, yeah. They gotta be exactly, um, you know, scavenging ooze to like really stop this. Oh, okay. So we're gonna be we're gonna be casting we're gonna be casting a goif, not a goif. Sorry, we're gonna be casting um, an uro next turn. And what's pretty what's really powerful about the uro cast next turn is they only have a sorcery in their yard. We have a sorcery in our yard too, so we can just get rid of all types and completely neuter that that tarmogoyf. Just completely neuter that tarmogoyf. So that I think that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So we're just gonna Earl. So we're gonna go blue and we're gonna go just take out the types and just neuter that baby right there. Mm, that one type, it's a one, two now, perfect. Who knew? Perfect, another Earl too. Ooh, a little bit of protection, okay. So now the Earl blocks really well here. Okay, that's fine. So we just, just kind of undid that. That's fine. That's the last card in their hand. Top decking is great. Top decking is where you want them to be. Um, double goif is fine. Sure. Uh, I'm just gonna kill that. That is that is definitely going to. <laughs> that's that's dying right now. That's a good card. <laughs> okay. So we get a free swing out of this. We get a. I, I think we're gonna go for a free swing. We're gonna get a free swing out of this damnation, and then we're on our way to just technically just beating Raging Ravine. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do here. Yeah. Okay. Get an attack out of it. No, no lands to put in. Okay. It might even be too aggressive. I don't know. They could. Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. We're not going to get too overzealous. Let's just uh, get it out of the way. We'll go black. We'll just hold up 
you know, all that. Okay, we're fine. Now what happens is whatever, our life total is gonna be lower, which is gonna be great for the timely if they manage to top deck a creature. Um, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I mean, that's getting abrupt decayed. That, that's getting abrupt decayed. <laughs> Uh, so we will just, uh, keep things nice and simple, if you know what I mean. Uh, so we'll just get our creatures out of it. Get our creatures out of it. And, uh, abrupt decay. It's a good, it's a good spot. It's a good spot. We got our second Uro raring to go. And, uh, we're... We're, we're weeding back into this game and I, and this comes down to a lot of factors like they, they had a very creature heavy draw and our sideboarding plan was ready to beat a creature heavy draw like hands down it was ready to beat a creature heavy draw um fine yeah it was ready to beat a creature heavy draw so can't be mad about that they have one card left that's interesting what do you got what do you got with that one card well Let's get Uro down. Okay, so we're just gonna bring that in tapped. I don't I don't think we need to shock that for any reason. We'll just redraw here. Double trap, double trap. Uh what we'll do. Um I don't wanna get like unnecessarily blown out by any attack like let's say they have fatal push or lightning bolt i don't want to just get like i don't want to give them like a free six damage here i think this is just going to be about gaining that incremental advantage in a lot of ways uh perfect okay they gave it to us yeah uh, and 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 what did that come down to incremental advantage that's ultimately how you beat the discard decks. We didn't do anything necessarily like powerful it was just about that we had more cards than them aka we undid their strategy. That is ultimately what Jun wants to do. It wants to have more cards than you and have a higher card quality. We beat them on both of those fronts. Um, thanks to some lucky draws, notably, but we take our luck where we can get it. So uh, notably, Path, not coming in, but I think we're really throwing them for a loop here, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, those K commands are super powerful because uh, Arkham's Astrolabe is a real like, centerpiece to what we're trying to do so those um veils are veils could be important here but it's okay it's okay we have better things well hopefully better things i don't know i don't know what we're trying to accomplish really um sounds fine sounds fine i rate it i rate it i i, I keep this i keep this they go turn one discard they kept a seven okay that's fine they kept a seven so do they go turn one discard? If they do, I imagine they just take crab here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, crabs are turn one play. They could also take Ashiok as an eventuality. Maybe if they take Ashiok, what that's saying to us is they don't have stuff like Assassin's Trophy or Abrupt Decay in their hand, and potentially they have Fatal Push. In which case, I might not, okay. So maybe they, they feel like they have a way to remove Ashiok, they can race Ashiok, uh, whatever it is. So we will just be playing this tapped. I think having that, especially because our removal is centered on white being path and we have a lot more blue one drops, it's definitely gonna be better to get that down. Overgrown Tomb is likely, is not likely, quite obviously gonna be our next play in a lot of ways. Um, Thoughtseize takes Ashiok here. Playing it really slow. That's interesting. That's super interesting. Okay. Maybe they have another discard spell. Maybe they have lightning bolt. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, we're just going to get this down, right? Uh, yeah. Supreme Verdict and Damnation. Um, notably, Damnation not castable until we get this field off. But... Okay. Pillage. That's a sideboard card. That's a sideboard card. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Okay. So this is how they're gaining that advantage. This is going to be where things become a problem because now they're going to be able to Luros. 
Mishra's Bobble next turn. This is where things start to become a problem. Path to Exile is probably our best draw here, just to stop Luros. Path to Exile is probably our best draw. Okay, so no path, no path. Um, that's fine. Okay. Pillager is a solid sideboard card. Uh, I, can't, I can't fault them on doing that, especially when Titan's is like really running around. Uh, just being able to have like that extra house against uh, Titan is is pretty important. Um, just being able to yeah, pillage is one of those cards that it, it gives you it gives you back the play, plain and simple. It, it gives you back the play. So um, Seal of Fire is solid. That gives them an enchantment in their yard. Um, Hmm. What I can do here is I can play Ashiok, get rid of their yard. What that does is it incentivizes them to play, to seal a fire my Ashiok and potentially just go in on the Luros next turn. At which point I can just board wipe with this Supreme Verdict. Or I could force them to commit some more. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to commit or not. But I don't know. It could also not incentivize. I don't know. Because I think just having that seal of fire is going to be pretty big for them. So we'll play the green source. I think also just neutering this goif is going to be pretty big for us as well. Just decreasing the power of this goif. Even if it's by one. Um. If they draw land, I'm actually hoping they draw land here. Perfect. Yeah, because I think this is definitely going to incentivize them to play Luros. They're going to go Seal of Fire, Luros, Seal of Fire. Perfect. Yeah, kill the Ashiok. Yeah, now they can search. Sounds gooch. Did you got to fetch first? Yeah. Perfect. So now the Supreme Verdict is going to be solid here. Obviously in Sultai, this could have definitely just been a Bantu's Last Reckoning or something. We wouldn't have had these hollowed fountains. You know what I mean? Like, it would have been like arguably the same thing. Um, yep. Get your Seal of Fire. Sure. Fatal Push is good. Um, and that Fatal Push will definitely be a way that we're going to contest with potentially a Luros coming back or another threat. So um, we're just going to run this out. This should. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I did not see that. I did not see that. That is a problem. I did not see that. Okay. In that case, in that case. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, uh, so we're gonna hit the green black source because I need a blue source now. Ooh, that poses a problem. Mm. Yeah, that poses a problem because I need a blue source if I'm going to. I just have to accept this damage, which is rough. Accepting this damage is rough. <sighs> okay. I just have to accept this damage. I have to grab a blue source. Oof. I completely forgot how needy Supreme Verdict was. I can't Fatal Push here. I can't. I can't. I, I think I just have to go for this blue source. Oh, that feels bad. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to need the blue source. I'm making the call here. I'm making the call. We're taking an extra five damage in total. We're taking four. So we're taking two to go to 16. Then they're going to Tarmogoyf is going to hit us for five to go to 11. Luros takes us to eight. Seal of Fire takes us to six. It's very picky. It's very close, but I think this is going to be worth it. I think we also have a backup Fatal Push with the Field of Ruin after. Yeah, I think... Mm, because the Supreme Verdict is held off anyway. You know what I mean? I don't know. This is such a tough call. It's such a tough call.
greedy play greedy play we're going for the greedy play this could be completely wrong getting rid of luros here could be the correct call it could just be the correct call who knows who knows i'm at six life right now functionally six they might not take me to six this turn but i'm functionally at six life with what they have on board I want them to play another creature. I really want them to play another creature. Not that creature. Oh my god. Not that creature. Uh, well, Damnation is the card we get rid of. Yep. Damnation is what we get rid of. Um, <sighs> Crypt is so good. Okay. Crypt is so good. That makes me feel awful. Crypt is so good here. Oh well. It's Supreme Verdict. That's what we came here to cast. I think the only play is I don't play a land here. I don't know. Because we're going to lose Fatal Push. Which we actually... Oh, actually no, they can't cast Croxa. Well, they can. They just have to exile their whole yard, in which case we can push it. So we have to lose Crypt Incursion. Yeah, so next turn what we can do is we can Field of Ruin, um, drop Crypt, grab, uh, grab a Black Source for Fatal Push, but then they've lost their whole yard just to cast Croxa if that's what they're planning to do. Okay, not terrible. Not the worst plays, but it's getting to be a pretty bad spot. It's getting to be a pretty bad spot. But I'm happy we made. The, I'm happy we went with the line that we did. What? Go away. Now, how do I play this? Okay, so they have Luros. They're gonna go Seal of Fire. Now, you Seal of Fire us again. Take us to four. Um, okay, so I have to drop Fatal Push here. I have to just trust in my removal. I have to drop Fatal Push. I have to trust in my removal, and I have to Crypt Incursion. Yeah, Crypt Incursion is just a logical thing here. Just let them seal a fire me and trust in my trust that I draw removal. Like a path. Trust that I draw a path. So potentially taking away their double black, I don't know, probably not, but you know, it's an option. It's a thing, it's a thing. Sure, so now we grab our own black source. <sighs> they had the double black. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, I see no point in delaying this. Might as well just do this now in case they have another coal against command and we get punished by that. There's no point in just letting that through so just to get that out of there now they only have seal of fire as their option um that's fine so we're functionally at 10 life right now um not in a great spot again they have more cards than us um what we really need them to do is to not draw anything which is a huge ask and then just draw uro <laughs> a huge ask but it's an ask. Okay, so this can help us find Uro. Because what this allows us to do is now... Oh my god, right. I'm not playing double forest. Oh my god. I'm not playing double forest. Uh, okay, well... Double black? No. Uh, I mean, yeah, double black, right? Because we only have one green source. I don't know. Double black is the is the way to play this. Yeah, just 
just get that out of there. That, I don't know. It's going to help us find our Uro. But is that enough? We'll just tap out. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're not, we're not bluffing anything. Our, our hand's empty. This is not looking great. Oh, I gave them a scavenging ooze. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. These decks play so many basics now. How does John play so many basics? Yeah. How does John play so many basics? Yup. I'm going to take six here. I'm going to feel bad about it. All right. Let it be known I tried to find Uro. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, cool. That's the game. That's the, that's the game. That's the game. Okay. No worries. No worries. What's up, everyone? Game two. Let's see what we can get out of here. Let's see what we can get out of this game. We are on the play. Let's do it. Let's see what companion our opponent reveals to us. Lurrows of the Dream Den again. That is fine. Uh, yeah. Why not? This hand is serviceable. Um, right, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Um, start off with a Flooded Strand. Why not? Why not? Okay. Foil Bloodstained Wire. Okay. <laughs> people that buy ex man, people that buy expensive foils on MTGO never cease to amaze me. I I just I don't get it, but okay. Uh so we're playing Burn. Okay. Uh, does make me feel a little bad about this. Uh, oh my god, my options are so thin. Okay, so I'll, I take two. That's fine. All right, that gives me a black source. That makes me feel a little better about this. I don't have to fetch shock. I'm taking, still taking a ton of damage. Okay. Um, okay, so this is just going to be about drawing your removal, getting out those burn spells. Um... Hopefully it's a creature heavy draw, and hopefully I draw my removal. That's all I can hope for. Uh, let's see what they play. Maybe if it's a if it's a goblin guide, we can kind of temper what we want to draw, what we don't want to draw, stuff like that. Okay, so we 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 deal damage at the absolute last moment. We we kill. Okay, in that case, let it go. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. Hollowed Fountain. Playing four color. <laughs> oh man, got a case of the Ronas right there. How are you? A little bit of Toronto talk right there. Um, okay. There's an argument for glimpsing myself here. Um, I think I want to save this Assassin's Trophy. The lands are painful, but I think I need to feed my yard and thin my deck to try and find Uro. There's a lot here. There's a lot here. I love this because people are commenting on the post I'd made. Um, Let's see here. People just don't seem to understand. Like I have someone commenting on the on the post right now. They're saying like, you should drop orbs. You're gonna mill more than you want. And I'm like, yes, you do want to mill yourself. You have to feed Uro somehow. Oh my god. Just play with Uro and you'll understand. You have to mill yourself, my friend. You have to mill yourself. Um Okay, we're gonna take the damage. Uh, the reason being is I don't wanna get, oh my God, I didn't grab a black source. I did not grab a black source. Look at me misplaying for days. I did not grab a black source. Oh man, oh man. Okay, I got a blocker. So 
We're gonna mill ourselves here. This uh this a mill ourselves type of flex. We gotta we gotta find Uro here. That's not Uro. I feel like we're like one step away from get I mean we probably lost this game at this point. But I feel like we're one step away from like getting blown out by I mean we pro okay. I the fact like they have four cards they're gonna draw the f they probably have it anyway it's fine okay this matchup we'll find our rows assassin's trophy can come out so uh let's just put it all together what do we want these six cards bring this back in that's it yeah, take out surgicals, orbs. We could keep one orb. I could keep one orb, drop one glimpse. At least then we have like a way to uh, feed. Teferi's not bad. It forces them to do stuff on their turn. Uh, that's it. That's it. Run it. Run it. I think this is definitely a matchup that's winnable. We have such a good board against it, and our main board was solid enough, but... Fine burn has the turn four win, and that's what it's designed to do. Uh, we didn't get off early enough, and that was one of those matchups where we needed to have Uro on three, or I don't know something. Like they were already, they were always holding up Skullcrack. That was something to remember. They were always holding up Skullcrack there. Um, so we will keep this. They're always holding up Skullcrack because they knew we were mill off the get go. Okay, so this is gonna grab. Mm, this can't grab a green black source so we have to rely on finding green another way so this has to grab watery grave because i need redraws this land is going to grab watery grave yeah so they already the mana base is going to be becoming slightly inconsistent definitely want those astrolabes right we're here to definitely try out the four color um i i have like an interesting idea to try out yorian you know, like, Yorian could be pretty cool. Uh, that's fine. I don't need a fetch shock for this. We're not going to be doing much anyway on our next turn, so we will just grab Watery Grave. Yep. Attack. So I'm still taking kind of like net less as to fetch shock, so... Um, Um, I think we're just going to play this. I kind of need some... I'm probably going to burn a Visions. I, I, I need to find a green source. This is getting kind of dire. Um, because I, I, I really, really want to play Earl on three here. Especially because we're on the play. I really want to play Earl on three. Okay. So they had like a... Like a land light... Spell heavy draw. That's a problem. That is a problem. This is a problem. The mana base is messing with us here. The mana base is messing with us here. Come on, come on, opponent. Uh, maybe they're talking in chat. No, no, no live chat. Okay. Do um. Just hold up our spells. Yep. Yep. Seal of fire. Draw a card. I. I, I <laughs> It gets us a green source. It gets us a green source, but I'm not netting any life with it. I'm fetch shocking and then just drawing. Okay. That's fine. That That is something. Okay. 
So I'm losing. Okay, I'm netting one life with that. Okay, that's fine. This is where I want to be. This is good. This is where I want to be. So shock this in. Yes. Chance of drawing path is higher. But we could just draw Fatal Push and just get murked. Let me tell you that. Could just draw Fatal Push and get murked here. Oh, we're going to play Flooded Strand. Um, because if we want to cast anything next turn, it's going to be Uro. And we have exactly enough, thanks to this Flooded Strand, to cast Uro. Um, we're just getting lucky here. Our opponent's not... Oh, okay, I was just going to say, our opponent's not drawing lands. And we're getting away with it, but it's okay. That's where we want them to be. Okay, plenty of seal of fires. Plenty of seal of fires. Yeah, betcha. Okay, so that's their land drop per turn. We're just gonna go, we're just gonna do this, man. We're just gonna do this. This is fine. This is gooch. This is Gucci. So we gotta get. A green source with this. Topped out. Go for it. Nine. So they have me virtually at eight. Like, four less life. They have, have me virtually at five. Okay, so I have to play the Earl that gives me the body. I think that is undeniable clear. I have to play the Earl that gives me the body. Undo. I think there's a better way to do this. Play this, then use that. Use use this. Green. That just it just opens up more options for me. In terms of what I can draw and what I can use immediately. Just opens up more options for me. So like if I draw it like a crazy draw here would be like basic forest. No. Well, now we can't play Astrolabe. I might have messed that up, but just for the sake of drawing removal, but uh, let's see what we draw. Oh, right. I completely forgot. I enabled that. Okay. Wow. Uh, completely forgot I enabled that. Uh, okay. I completely forgot that I enabled visions. I was just gonna redraw one. Okay. Um, all right. They're shocking in. I imagine they're gonna go for some type of alpha swing. We're at eight life functionally. We are at functional eight life, which is doable for the burn opponent skewer. Yeah, it is very doable for it. Oh, they're gonna double skew. Okay. They're just gonna kill the arrow. That's interesting. Lightning helix the arrow. Okay. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. So I think we can double Uro here. I think. I think the math works out where we can double Uro. Assassin's Trophy also works. Um, how greedy do we want to be? Pretty greedy, probably. Um, so one, two, three, four. see what this gets us yeah let's see what this gets us oh no 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 yeah let's see what this gets us no but I do want a double arrow I do want a double arrow so let's do this Yeah, we do want a double arrow here. So we're gonna play this. Yep. And then we'll fetch, we'll see what land we have. Yeah, okay. So we're good here, we're gonna grab the island. Play Arkham's Astrolabe. So unfortunately we gotta exile an arrow to cast an arrow, but it's okay. Green. But I think double Uro is the greediness that we want here. 
Yeah, and our opponent just concedes here. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, run it back. Run it back. We're just not drawing a removal. I don't know what to say, man. We're just not, not just not drawing a removal right now. And we play with less in the regular Soul Tie version, technically. Technically, we play with less. Just like, well, the same amount, but like the efficiency of our removal is a lot less, so. And I think our general answers to burn is a lot less, but. Um, like, we're, we have access to Timely here. Um, Teferi is somewhat useful. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I can get rid of a hand that potentially casts Uro on three. I don't think I can do that. That's fine. Okay, Hedron Crab. Um, Hedron Crab is definitely more valuable here, just because it blocks. Unless we just get Searing Blazed, but I'm pretty sure Hedron Crab is much more valuable here, just because it saves us two life. Um, especially because we're not playing Earl until much later. That's fine. Okay. All right. I mean, I guess that's technically three life we've gained, so can't be mad at that. All right. Let's see, let's see if I want to bring in this land tapped or if I draw a removal. Um, probably don't want to lose life if I don't have to. Very dangerous place to be right now. I don't know. Our opponent's just like going off, going off. Hopefully it's a creature heavy draw. Doesn't look like it. Uh, oh man. I need to draw like a removal spell. Legit. Oh. That's rough. That's rough. Okay. That's rough. The Eidolon is probably game over. Yeah, the Eidolon is probably game over. <sighs> Nothing happened here. The, the... <sighs> yeah. The Esper, I mean, yeah, like... The White Splash didn't, like, it didn't lose us the game, right? Like... Not here. I don't. I don't think it did. I, I only think it actually just added in this matchup. But we just uh, this Eidolon, man. We'd be in a different spot. We'd be in a different spot. I'd rather have taken three damage. Honestly, I'd rather have taken three damage here. Like miles over. I'd rather have taken three damage. Like if it was just like a lightning bolt or a lava lava axe. What's up everyone, game three. Let's see if we can get some type of luck going on our side. Uh, this hand is fine, in my opinion. We got a crab, we got an archive trap, surgical, like like the mill hand is there. We can work into the assassin's trophy after. Let's see what companion our opponent has. Seems like that is the theme. Oh, no companion. Are we playing against Titan? Did I speak too soon? Is this Neoform? Could be Neoform, Waterlog Grove. Could be Neoform. In this case, I will probably just start off with the Arkham's Astrolabe. Just, just churn through our deck. Um, no need to reveal what we're playing and just make our opponent work a little differently. Okay, perfect. That Path Exile could be relevant here. Ooh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Okay, a little bit of fetching. Scalding Tarn. Waterlog Grove and Scalding Tarn. What am I playing against? It is Neoform. Okay. Uh, okay. So I know exactly when to respond to this. Okay. So we Archive Trap. We just have to hope to hit something relevant here. Uh, perfect. Yeah, um, just don't have Force of Negation, and we've won. GG. Because now, no matter what creature they get, we just pass. Perfect. <laughs> That's a win in my books.
<laughs> That's a win in my books. Okay, so when it comes to sideboarding, what do we bring in? Aether Gust seems good. Surgical seems good. Ashiok technically seems good. I'm tempted to just take out glimpses here. <laughs> like, straight up just take out glimpses. Like, all of these sound good. Like, I could even bring in Ashiox. Just so they can't search their library. And that, that that's pretty big. Maybe just, like, shave traps. Probably just want more free stuff, though. Just want more free stuff. Mmm. Uh, blue spells blue spells no 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 yeah mystical dispute mystical dispute over ashiok sorry mystical dispute over ashiok the blue spells being able to counter thassa's oracle and then following packs or whatever so assassin's trophy is generally what we're looking for um but mm, this hand doesn't do anything um show game log our opponent begins with seven <sighs> Our opponent begins with seven, which means they probably found their ley line. In which case, like, I can't even cast Earl on three here, which bothers me. I think we can do better. This is better. This is better. This is better. Uh, drop Hegion Crab. I imagine they found ley line. Yeah. Okay. Uh, double ley line more than fine um that just means less opportunities for them to go off what oh don't don't tell me you had it okay um so i think this is fine ley line of sanctity is perfectly bounceable by uh teferi and yeah, I, Aether Gust is going to stop a lot of spells here as well. So, yeah, it's going to be gooch. Pass through. I think we're good. I think we're good. I, our opponent had really aggressive start. Uh, we're going to grab... We're going to get a green-black source. Yeah. I'm just going to do stuff. This becomes like super weird without Arkham's Astrolabe, but it's okay. Okay, yeah, our opponent's not doing anything. Uh, first and foremost, green source for the Abrupt Decay. Yeah, first and foremost, green source for the Abrupt Decay. That's fine. Don't really need to play that out. Um, and we just pass right through. Uh, we can end of turn, just visions, just redraw. And I think we're just going to be Field of Ruining, right, at some point. Um, I imagine Veil of Summer is a card that they bring in. There's a lot to like here. There's a lot to like here. I imagine they have some type of Counterspell here, so... Do you have to be wary about that? It's good. I like that. Um, I don't... It's nothing I would really want to abrupt decay, so it's going to be Field of Ruin to grab a white source. Then That way we're covered there. And then Pluto Delta will grab a mm, Verdant Catacombs? Yeah, Verdant Catacombs. Yeah, and, and we'll Field of Ruin at the end of turn. Uh, we'll just hold up this Aether Gust. Okay, no lands, no lands. They're just looking for cards right now. Okay. Okay, so we grab our white source. Yeah, 
yes! It's like it was written in the stars. Perfect. Uh, now we have options. Now we have options. Options. Options are always great. Um, okay, pass right through. It sucks though. We don't have something like graft, where like graft lands. Like what they do, like there was this, it, there's an interesting interaction where like when, when the creature comes into play, the graft thing goes on the stack, creating priority, which means you can actually like respond to like whatever the creature coming in. Like it's actually like pretty solid. It's actually like stuff to do. So Verdant Catacombs. Or Overgrown Tomb, sorry. Verdant Catacombs is a fetch. I don't think I'm ready to cast that just yet. I don't think I'm there. I don't think I'm ready to cast anything here. Except for maybe Hedron Crab, but even still. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to cast anything here. I, I, I think I'd rather just hold up Path and Abrupt Decay and playing Hedron Crab, or Path and Aether Gust, and playing Hedron Crab doesn't actually have a function to it. Okay, I mean, end of turn we can, I, I, like, I can surgical. I mean, I could, I could probably just surgical here on their draw step to see what they have. Um, drop crab, that's fine. I don't, I don't, like, crab doesn't actually serve a purpose, whereas this hedron crab could now be full information. Although it's minimal, we could have kept our crab. It, it's also feeding our yard for recasting an earl later down the line um but just giving ourselves the information let's see what we have um wow <laughs> wow double fail of summer you suck you suck Cast a blue or black spell this turn. Spells you control can't be countered. You and permanence. Okay. Aether Gust is actually going to be able to get around Veil of Summer. Love it. Aether Gust is actually going to be able to get around Veil of Summer. So they have the full ley lines. They have two gristle brands. They shaved Simeons. They saved one Simeon. One Mana Morphos. Okay. Full playset of Veils. Okay, and a lab man. It's not Thassa's Oracle. It's the lab man win condition. They do not have anything else. Okay. Good to know. Good, good to know. Okay, okay, go for it, opponent. Go for it. 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 Go for it, opponent. Go for it. Aether Gust. Aether Gust. Aether Gust. Aether Gust. You love to see it. Now, do we counter the Allosaurus Rider? Yes, because then they don't have a creature target. Yes, we counter the Allosaurus Rider. <laughs> Bang! Yo, they exiled their Allosaurus Rider as well. Veil of Summer does not stop Aether Gust. Yo, yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Show game log. On top. Oh my god, are you brave? Are you brave, sir? Are you gonna redraw right now? Because redrawing right now is the logical thing to do. Redrawing right now is the logical thing to do. Quite literally. Yeah. Yeah, that was just gonna say. Now is the right time to do it. So they have exactly enough? Yeah, so they're gonna cast that. That's fine. So they can go Simeon and just go into it. 
Okay, so they're gonna Eldritch. So they got Gristle Brand. And all I have here is. So in response to the draw seven, this is all they have. This draw seven is all they have. They're at 14 life. If they do not have it, oh, they can't even respond. Gone. Goodbye. So they have no other. I'm going to surgical in response to the draws and they have nothing. They officially have nothing. Their Allosaurus Riders are gone. They have no other way to get their Gristle Brands out. This game's over. Molding it. Aether Gust. A plus sideboard card. Let's go. Free wins. What's up, everyone? Game four. <laughs> we're playing a Luro strategy. We're not even on the play. This is the worst hand we're going to mulligan. Yeah. Serviceable. Keep it. Drop of Hollow Fountain. Is that logical? Doesn't matter. They see Teferi. It doesn't matter. Oh, Steam Vents and Luros. Okay. If we if we see if we have Force of Negations in our midst, yeah. If we have forces in our midst, then is is this like Grixis? In which case, Teferi is actually really powerful. If we can keep the board clear, and if we dodge a force, Teferi is actually like super powerful here. Yeah, Teferi is actually super powerful here, but powerful to only a certain degree, just because they do have hasty creatures. They do have that Sprite Dragon that comes in with haste, and Teferi uh, it can uptake just a draw, but doesn't do much else. That's fine. So we will do our stoof. Okay, Tr double trap is good. Double trap is good. Double trap is good. May not be as good because they have Luros, but oh no, doesn't matter. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Removal is always good <laughs> against any Luros matchup. Finally, we are seeing Path come through as a card. Opt is fine. Finally, we are seeing Path come through as a card. So hopefully we are able to destroy a Sprite Dragon here. Ooh, no Sprite Dragon. That is interesting. No Sprite Dragon. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to Misty. Pass through. You can do whatever you want. I'm just going to wait until they play a threat. That is what I'm going to do and see if I can force out any counter magic. They play a threat on their turn. I'm, I'm, I'm pathing it. And then I'm trying to draw as much counter magic as possible. Then I'm going to play Teferi. And just draw the hate. That is the plan. And then I can bounce Astrolabe too. Teferi bounce Astrolabe seems pretty good. I'm gonna just grab breeding pool. We need green sources. Yeah, let me just grab breeding pool. Well, I'm not playing Safari. <laughs> let me tell you that much. I'm not. I'm not Rogren. Triumph Island Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not playing Safari. We can do that next turn. Uh, this is this is just asking to walk into counter magic here. Get aggressive, get aggressive. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I love these Mystic Sanctuaries for value. Okay, so this is just Cryptic Command mana at this point. This is where things become like real problematic. Oh well. All right. All right, so if we are able to resolve Teferi, we're going to be in a good spot. Resolving Teferi is good here. That's fine. Bolt, snap, bolt. Bolt, snap, bolt. Do your thing. Bolt, snap, a -rooney, Bolt, snap, a -rooney. Path this sucker. Now. 
Let's see if they do anything. Pop them. Sure. Naturally. Makes sense. They don't need to get aggressive. How are they casting Luros here, though? They have Luros. They haven't shown me any... Oh, there you go. There's some fetching. They haven't shown me any lands that leads me to believe they're playing Luros. What is this? Planes, planes, planes. Okay, okay. So they can get a white source. Play Luros. I just like don't want to get cryptic here. That's my problem. I don't want to get cryptic. Commanding. I don't want to get cryptic. Commanding. I don't want to get. Okay. I don't wanna get cryptic command. I don't wanna get cryptic. Yikes. Sure. So we'll throw out one archive trap. One archive trap. Just to get rid of that. One archive trap. Go away. <laughs> Go away. You suck. Go away. Bro, don't be mad. Don't be mad, bro. Let it resolve. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Don't be don't be mad, opponent. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. You lost your lightning bolt. Just just deal with it. Don't be mad. I just hope they just play land and go. Play land. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I rate it. Thank you. I don't wanna wait forever till it's over. Moment of truth! Moment of truth! Oh, yes! Okay. Yes! Return this! Yes! Yes! Give me my value! Give me my value! Yes! Yes! Give me my value! So good! So much value! So much value! So much value! I drew two cards! Yes! I've shut up your counter magic! Yes! I've shut off your... Snapcaster Mages, end of turn as well. Yes! Perfect. Love it. We're gonna grab a Planes. Not that it matters, but... Oh, so you got your white source, eh? Okay. Well, I'm gonna do this. In that case... Might as well just get the value out of there. They're probably going to go... What are they going to do here? They got white, white. So Luro, Snap, Bolt. Luro, Snap, Bolt, Kill to Fairy. Luro, Snap, Bolt, Kill to Fairy seems like a pretty solid line. And then after that, Uro is... Uro is the nuts. I need to draw Uro. I need to draw Uro right now. Please let me draw Uro. <sighs> we've done it we've done the thing we've drawn multiple pieces of lands <sighs> field of ruin would have been insane here i think i think field of ruin would have been insane here if we just like were a little bit patient field of ruin would have been insane here they might not even care about teferi honestly yeah okay there you go yeah they might not even care about teferi that's a thing wow I hate everything. I have to mill myself here. 
I have to mill myself. I have to find Uro. Yeah, I have to find Uro. Uro is the only thing that saves me here. <laughs> give me Uro, please! <laughs> please, give me Uro! Please give me Uro. I need Uro so bad! <laughs> Uro's the thing that saves me here. Okay. Please give me a roll. Please, 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 please. Damn it! <laughs> oh! Oh, I need an arrow! Oh. oh my god, I don't trust, like, winning here. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Oh, he has snap bolt. Oh my god, whatever. Yeah, no, he has, it, our opponent has snap bolt. Snapcast from Agent Yard. Okay, okay, what's good in this matchup? A lot. Um, surgicals can go, I think. Drop like one glimpse. Uh, we're gonna bring in all of these. Maybe like a, one Assassin's Trophy, one glimpse, just like cards that aren't as optimal. I bring in a Fatal Push. Um, it's like a lot to like here. We, I think we need the Ashiox. I think the Ashiox are gonna be pretty fundamental here. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. We have to fairies. We have mystical disputes. They're not playing Bant. So there's no Veil of Summers, but there's obviously Force of Negations and opposing mystical disputes to be scared of. Okay, yes, keep this hand. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Bring this in tapped. I need more lands. Celestial Colonnade. What a retro card at this at this point in modern. What a retro card. What a retro card. Okay. So we do not have we're gonna get a uh, black green source here. Uh, could grab blue green. I don't have a need for black right now. Could grab blue green. Yeah, blue green is an option. It's not a bad one. Uh, watery grave works too. Let's get watery grave. Let's get the one of watery grave here. Um, path, yes. Uh, so we're not gonna play Uro. Uh, what I'll do. Is off field of ruin because I just want to open up my mana a little bit here. I don't. I don't want to like get Uro countered and then they play to fairy. I, I don't. I don't think that's what I want here. Also, they brought in their sideboard. They brought in their sideboard, didn't they? Yeah. They just brought in a bunch of cards on the sideboard. I don't know if they can do that. They kept their seven though, which is unfortunate. But I don't think you play enough lands to do that, especially because you're a Laurel Strat. But oh well. Oh well. All right, opponent. Let's see what you play. Let's see what you play. Lots of fetching. Okay, so we're just gonna get rid of the triome. That is quite obvious at this point. We get rid of the triome. Goodbye. Okay, so we grab a Grab a green source. Okay. So we can use this to play Earl. Obviously, you know, bluffing or whatever mystical dispute. But uh, yeah, okay, so we do that. 
Bro, you suck. Bro, you suck. Bruh. Yes, I'd love to use passability. Thin my deck out. You suck. Whatever. I'm ramping up, I guess. I'm ramping up. I'm ramping up. <sighs> my Earl. My Earl. My precious. My precious Earl. Do I want to resolve anything else right now? No, I do not want to resolve Mesmeric Orb just to have that get countered. We can fight over Mesmeric Orb next turn. There's a lot to like here. Ooh, shocked, eh? Cryptic command, eh? <laughs> yeah? Hmm. Okay, I bet you have cryptic. Um, so let's just get rid of your man land. Let's do that. Let's just get rid of your man land. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you tap out. You tap out. You do, you, you do that. You do that. I hate how grindy this matchup is going to be. But I think we can outgrind them. Just pass right through. Pass right through. Okay. Play Arkham's Astrolabe. Mistake. We tapped our mana wrong here. We definitely tapped our mana wrong here. That is a good one. Let's see how deep we can push them here. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Opponent, why are you like this? I hate you. I hate you so much. Why are you like this? This is just suffering. This is suffering. <gasps> okay, well, I mean. Now my Mesmeric Orb resolves. <laughs> right? Like, now my Orb resolves. Which is pretty big. Orb resolving is pretty big. So, there you go. We're going to be able to find our own Uros. We fought our counter war worth fighting. We got rid of a white source. Got rid of a white source. They're not playing Luros this turn. I don't know why they would play Luros this turn, but they could. It's an option. If they had the white source. We have the Path Exiles. Did get into a bit of a counter war with them there, so that is that is rather relevant. <sighs> Both my Ashioks are gone. Both of my Ashioks are gone. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Both of my Ashioks are gone. Yikes. Ew, man. Much. I'll burn one of these. Why not? In my opinion, I don't know why not. I'll just burn one. Okay. Well, there's the arrow that I. Contact. All right. There's the arrow. There's the arrow. There's the arrow that we need. Oh. So I need like exactly a land <laughs> to make this work. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now we just get priority. Okay. Give it to me, please. Please. <laughs> There's like so many hoops to jump through for this. There's so many hoops to jump through for this. They have to let like one resolve and like countering this is not correct. Unless they have like double counter spell. That's not correct. Okay, because now I'm just going to cast it again. Unless you have path. Because you don't get priority here. I 
I don't know if that's 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 not where our opponent wanted to fight us on. They should have fought us on like the second casting of it. But oh well. Unless they have removal, so that, that could be another thing. <laughs> Let's go, we have path. Let's go. Running out of basics though. One more basic, I think. Yeah, one more basic. Exactly one more basic. Sure. Fetch away. Mystic Sanctuary gets back path, I imagine. <sighs> this is so annoying. <laughs> This is so annoying. Stop. Please stop. Please stop. It's so simple. Oh my god. Yeah, fine. Yes, use Pat's ability. Oh, I, I still have more basics. Okay, uh, I'll grab that one. All the basics in the world. We'll fetch. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Come on, opponent. This is so grindy. This is what's going to make the video like 50 million thousand years long. This game. This game is what's going to make it long. Oh my god. All right. Well, I guess at some point I will cast this visions for value. At some point. I have Path to Exile for their threats. I have Path to Exile for the threats. Fine. So be it. So be it. I guess you can cast it with Luros. There is that. I hate Drago. Come on. Come on. We just... We barely have any lands left in this deck. Come on. Like, barely any. How do I draw my last basic? How do I literally draw my last basic? Oh man, how do I literally draw my last basic? It's that shaft luck, everyone. It's that shaft luck. What do we need to consistently cast three and four drops? 23 lands. Maybe going to 22 is correct. Maybe, but it hurts, it hurts. It hurts me to go to 22, it really does. Even trophy is annoying here. I'll probably trophy on their upkeep. Just get rid of the white source, and then I never have to deal with Luros. I, I functionally never have to deal with Luros. That is definitely something to think about, so I will kill this now. Yeah, then we never... I, I think we never have to think about Luros. I don't know. I think we don't. It didn't seem like they had basic uh, planes. Oh, okay. Well, we saw last game. What am I even saying? But we are reducing their opportunity to find it. So a little bit of land destruction can't hurt. Little bit of land destruction cannot hurt. Wow. Okay, so they have Luros. That's fine. Oh, I was like, don't auto pass through. Because man. Okay, so the, the counter magic isn't good enough to stop our removal. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, yes, I think this is the point where this is fine. Because if they use one counter spell, I can cast visions here. One counter spell gives me visions of beyond. Counter draw. We draw three. Okay, um, draw, just turning into land destruction at this point. I'm literally just turning into land destruction at this point. I hate everything about this game. I hate everything about this game. Just shut off your lands. You're not playing Luros. You're not, I refuse to let you play Luros. You're done. That's fine. You're done playing Luros of the dream done. Good. You're, you're done. You're not playing Luros anymore. This is pain, this is pain, this is so much pain. There's so much pain in what I have to go through right now. 
There's so much pain. Oh man. I feel like I'm just gonna edit out like the majority of this video. All right, all right, we, we, we have a forward threat, everybody. But, oh man, do I wanna mill myself? No, no, it's not worth trying to find that last Earl. We will find that last Earl. I don't know, that's my opinion anyway. That is my opinion. Please just kill it. Just just kill it. Oh my god, I hate control deck so much. Just kill it. Oh, you suck. Path it. Path it. Just no. You don't get it. You don't get my cards. You don't get my cards. You don't get my cards for free. You don't get my cards for free. Okay, that is literally the, the, the last non-Field of Ruin land in our deck. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This matchup is dumb. This matchup is so dumb. My god. We've shut off... I think we've shut off the Luros. This is live evidence of, of my bad luck. This is live, live evidence of my bad luck. Why are you tapping out that much mana? What are you doing with that mana? Yikes. Uh, what? I mean, I guess we kill one of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate control decks so much. Oh my god. They've had it every step of the way. They've had it every step of the way. So frustrating. Every single step of the way. Yep. Optus cool. Maybe now is that time where I start regretting not milling myself. Okay. There you go. There is something. There is hope in this world. There is small amounts of hope left in this world. Please don't have like snap counter like bro. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. We'll cast it again. Oh, thank you. There's some ray of sunshine. There's a ray of sunshine. Okay, so this Hedron Crab is like so useless right now. But I'll play it. Because at worst, it's a blocker. Man, you suck, man. What are you doing? <sighs> oh, God, just breathe. Just breathe. I'm so done. I've disappeared. That's it. We've lost all our win conditions. Man, he's only in the group for a certain reason. Just to troll and get his way or something. Oh, man. These hands. These hands. These hands. These hands. All right. I'll keep this. Okay. So no companion. <laughs> oh man, it's in fact. Okay. It's in fact. We got Field of Ruin, but that's Field of Ruin on the draw, not Field of Ruin on the play. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Trophy's good. Trophy kills lands. Trophy's pretty solid. I like Trophy. Matt, I wonder if they go for an attack here. I wonder if they just go for an attack here. 
No lands. No lands. That is brave. That is brave. That is brave. Um, I think we'll just play Astrolabe here. Probably should have fetched first, but who knows. Play the Astrolabe. Play this. Just play it slow. Opponent doesn't. Opponent kept a very greedy hand. I guess they're just opting on one green source and they just go off or something like something wild like that. Okay, opponent. Okay, opponent. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, opponent? Okay. Um. Hollowed Fountain. I think we'll give them the green source. What, what that does is it reduces their opportunity to find more lands. Um... Yeah, it reduces their opportunity to find more lands. And then if they just play out a threat, opens up Assassin's Trophy for us. So we'll just do this, get our redraws in, but potentially see if we can find a Visions of Beyond. Yeah, because Visions, Uro's going to come out against this matchup, I think. We're going to shave some amount of Uro's here. And we just have to be very thankful as to the draw that we've gotten. Didn't mill over a lot of lands. Wanted to mill over... Excuse me, you wanted to mill over more lands than that. Next turn, we'll be able to glimpse Assassin's Trophy, which is pretty relevant. Just pretty relevant. They found their double green. What? Is this like a budget mill list? Or budget mill. A uh, budget infect list? Glistener off, Glistener off, Glistener off. A lot of Glistener offs. A lot of glister elves. Um, let's see what they have in their hand. Icker Claw Mirror seems like the pick here. Because it's just another threat. I think that's correct. It's just another threat. We just want to remove threat density. Yeah, this seems correct. Yeah, okay, perfect. So we just gotten rid of... Okay, so they have like literally nothing in their hand in terms of creatures. Our opponent is playing Budget Infect. I'm going to get rid of Archive Traps here, actually. Yeah, Archive Traps seems like what I'm going to get rid of. Wow. Yeah, okay. Archive Traps are what I'm going to get rid of. Okay, so kill this. Undo. Um, go to your main first. Shock this in. Go Glimpse. black um, then we kill this so we go black oh oh and we have the green sure got rid of another blighted mamba as well um, another ink moth so that's pretty solid we're, we're just completely reducing them of their threat density and now we just have to hope and pray that they do not draw a threat. If they draw a threat, it is probably, it is game over at this point. If they draw a threat, it is game over. Because I need to draw runner, like, mill spells, like runner spells here. So at this point, we're going to find Uro. Uh, at this point, it is about finding Uro. It's going to be about finding Uro. And then playing Uro as a blocker. Budget Infect. Okay, not full-blown Infect. That's where we want to be. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fetch out some tapped sources. Get them out of the way. Uh, we'll grab a Watery Grave. Perfect. Just tap out. Trying to find that Uro. Um, cause that's, what's going to help us at least find a blocker. Um, because I think we can rely a little bit more on a blocker here. T 
to fairies to fairies to fairies actually semi useful here so blighted mamba is what we're gonna grab here because they have two more blighted mambas one ink moth one glistener if they draw either one of those then well, so be it so be it you know like it's uh it's it's what you're hoping to hoping to take let's see what they mill actually yeah maybe we can get a one of okay so their ink moths are gone good in that case we surgical Surgical, their threats out. Blighted Mamba, goodbye. Now they have one infect threat. One infect threat. Exactly one infect threat. Watch, they're gonna top deck the Glistener Elf. Okay, perfect. Uh, they didn't want to draw into it. Perfect. Uh, this matchup, man. Okay, so it's budget. The archive traps are out. Um, surgical seems pretty bad as well. So, like, removal. Fatal push. Aether Gust. Um, hmm. Probably just play two Surgicals. Uh, timely, they're never gonna have more life than, uh, maybe. More life, more creatures. They have Trample Aesthetics, but we could Chomp. Hmm. Timely is better than nothing, right? Like, it's, it's better than nothing. And just like one certain, no, like archive trap. Because we do want to mill them, but like that's it. Actually, no. I was going to say Mystical Dispute, even hard cast at three is much better. Mystical Dispute, hard cast at three is much better. We can do better on the draw here. Oh my god. So our opponent mulligan? So they keep, will keep, drop this, crab blocks. It's not a good keep, man. This is not a good keep. Show me the Glistener Elf. Ooh, no Glistener Elf. So Mamba or the Persist creature. Damnation's good. What do we want here? Hollowed Fountain because there's a higher chance we're gonna draw path. We want this hollowed fountain coming in untapped, shock. Life doesn't really matter here in this case. So Veil of Summers, very relevant sideboard card against us here. See what they got. At least this is budget infect, but losing to budget infect is still very possible regardless of how embarrassing. Oh. So do they have it and they're just trying to protect it? Because that's good infect play. <laughs> that is that is good infect play from our opponent. That is good infect play. I might as well get my Hegion Crab value, right? Uh, we're gonna grab the Overgrown Tomb just for the sake of a green source. Yes, shock that baby in. We're just gonna glimpse because there's probably a, a point here with visions. If we manage to survive any type of onslaught, there is definitely a, a world where visions is activated. Maybe even next turn. Okay. Veil it is, man. Veil it is. Veil it is. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Rancor, there's the trample. Um, yeah, Crab's going to Jesus. It has to. Crab has to go to Jesus. With Rancor out, like, I might as well just stop to infect. There's no point in not. Clock 
Come on, opponent. Path is good. Path is good. Um, really wish I drew a land, but oh well. Path is good. So wait for them to commit. Wait for them to commit their spells. Wait for them to go with it. And then we just uh, path them. Hopefully they don't like start off with Blossoming Defense. Starting off with Blossoming Defense is like the real fear. 6-4, um, sure. So now it does 8. You're one off. Sure. Go for it. Pump it one more time. I have to have it, right? I have to have it, right? Sure. Path it. Path it. Goodbye. Yep. Yippers. Perfect. Dodged a bunch of infect damage there. Okay. Give me a land. Give me a land. Almost a land. <laughs> Almost a land. I think this is pretty valuable here. If they play like one random spell. Which, I mean, I highly doubt they will, but just getting them that, to that number is more valuable than not. Man, the turns, the games where we need the lands, can't find them. The games where we need the lands, can't find them at all. At all. Mmm, that's a problem. <laughs> we found another one. We can surgical away all their threats today. Sure. So they have to go for it again. We have Fatal Push. Uh, okay. Okay, so they have to, I guess, go for it again. We have the removal spell. Uh, we will likely be able to turn on visions. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if they go for it. I think worst case scenario, they don't go for it. We fatal push, they blossoming defense or something like that and we just draw three, right? So they've already gone to combat. They're not doing anything else. Okay, so just four infect, that is fine past the turn. We are going to Fatal Push, or attempt to Fatal Push. Huh? Got a little bit of defense. A little bit of defense. Yup, a little bit of defensive maneuver, sure. Uh, so that puts 20 cards in there. We're gonna draw three. Wow! All that time just to look for a land. Man. Um, so you have to force them to commit, right? Have to force them to commit. That's what it is. Um, yeah. Uh, just hold up more. Just hold up more bluffing right now. Have to force them to commit. Oh my god, oh my god. Ink Moth Nexus, okay, that, that, is, uh, that is another problem that we can't really deal with. Oh man, okay, go to blocks, go to blocks, do your damage, do your damage. What do you got, so you got three. Groundswall gives you four. Okay, so I have to do it. If you have the spell, you have the spell. Oh, he doesn't. Yes, yes, he doesn't. Doesn't have the spell. Come on, give me like Field of Ruin, please. The, he, if he doesn't have the protection spell, that means I this, this Ink Moth is a free roll. Please just give me a Field of Ruin. Please. That's all I need. That's all. Just give me a Field of Ruin. Just give me a Field of Ruin. This dude definitely has it. He like definitely, okay, what? What? Uh, I don't think that works. 
Um. Okay. Okay. I don't think that was a good move, but okay. Bro, you suck. This game freaking sucks. Give me a damn land! Give me a damn land or else. Give me a damn land. I'm livid. I'm livid. I'm livid. I'm shell shocked. How I've gone through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 plus 9, 21 cards. I've seen three lands. Three lands. That's all I've seen. Three lands is what I've seen. They have it. Not even a removal spell. Even a removal spell would have been fine. But not even that. Not even that. Not even that. It's like, that's too late. That's too late. I needed that, like, now. Oh my god. I hate everything. I, 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 I hate everything. I hate everything. Our opponent has it. Like, hands down. Hands down, they have it. There's no way they, they have, like, just lands. It's, like, protection spells. I don't know why they didn't just go for it. It's probably just, like, blossoming defenses off the wazoo. Or, like, yeah, the other hexproof thing. It's, like, blossoming defenses and, like, hexproof off, out the wazoo. Like, we lost. This is an L. Sure. This is an L. This is an L. There's no difference in doing it now or doing it later. What? This actually worked. This actually worked. This actually worked. This actually worked. Okay, Glistener Elf. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. I, I dropped a land. Okay, Glistener Elf. That's gonna get board wiped. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is actually working. This is actually working. Okay, so they're milling out. They're milling out. Okay, they got the Myrrh. They got a threat. Whenever it becomes blocked. F off, bro. You suck. Okay, so both my arrows are in here. <sighs> That's not great. Um, I can mill them for 4 plus 10. Mm, don't think I'm exactly going to be going for a mill here. Give me removal. That's not removal. I think I li quite literally just have to go for this right now. Just give me the double Uro. Hope for the best. Because I have nothing else. I have nothing else right now. I quite literally have nothing else. Now I'm drawing on my lands when I don't need them. I, I literally do not need my lands. I do not leave my lands. Yeah, I'm replacing the archive trap that I have as a one of for mystical dispute because a hard cast mystical dispute is much more valuable to me. As ah, game's over. Okay, that is what we're changing. Give me my mystical dispute. A rebuild is is fun because it could like bounce Icker Claw Mirror. So it's an option. <sighs> it's an option. Sure. Yeah. 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 Arkham's Astrolabe gives me path, gives me trophy. Yeah. 
Uh, Teferi could come down. This is fine. I'm surprised our opponent isn't like... I mean, I guess they're budget. I was going to say Luros. But I guess if they're not, I don't know. Like, Luros is like not bad. But, alright. What is our opponent doing? Show me the chat. Show me the chat. Oh, they just said good luck. Well, good luck to you too. Good luck to you too, opponent. You're being a good sir. Or ma'am. Or whatever it is. Listener is fine. We're going to kill that right now. We're going to kill that right now. Shock this in. Just because. It's literally for the flex. We kill that now. This is for the flex. For no other reason but the flex. Let's see if they tap out for a two mana infect creature. That would be that would be the dream. That would be the dream. Oh, no two mana infect creature. Okay, so I have a functionally free turn here. Didn't do much with that free turn. Gonna be honest, did not do much. Wow, okay, we'll get rid of that. I think we have to get rid of that. Don't want them drawing through their deck. We had a free turn, we could have played Teferi and bounced that as well, but what does our deck do for us? Absolutely nothing. <sighs> okay, now we play Teferi, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now we play Teferi, perfect. So we play Teferi, bounce that, go away, gone. Now we're free. Now we are free to do whatever we want. Yes. Ikerclaw mirror. Goodbye. Iker Claw Mirror. Teferi is going to help me control this game. Let's do this. We let them draw land first, reduce the amount of lands that they have. Oh, 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 wow. Did you just try and do something at instant speed? Oh my god. Wow. Teferi. Wow. That's insane. My god. Did you just try and use a protection spell? My god. Look, man, whatever incremental value I can get, we're already like a one in three in this league. Just just let me have my moment. Just let me beat up on this budget infect player, please. <laughs> I need to feel better about myself. <laughs> I need to feel better about myself, please. Please. I need help. Okay. Now we will Earl. Because there's no cost to it. Okay, now we have a grind factor. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna grab a hollowed fountain here. Just cause it's a blue source, we already have it. We don't need to tap Astrolabe, you know, kind of stuff like that. Like we're less reliant. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That regeneration, not gonna work. It is exiled, my good sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ink Moth Nexus. That, well, that's not a problem. I have Assassin's Trophy. Ooh, I have double assassin's trophy
So we're just gonna plus here. We have double assassin's trophy. We don't need to get too zealous. Um, destroy target permanent. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. With a blight mamba, that's gonna be a problem. But it's okay. We can bounce the blight mamba next turn. Um, if they so choose to regenerate. Let's see. I mean, they might just go for a bunch of spells, and in which case they cannot regenerate. So there, there is that option for them. So everything that they do to their creatures, they have to do right now. They cannot do it at instant speed. So if they want to commit a bunch of damage, try and get something going, hexproof until end of turn? No. No siree, Bob. Ooh, I only have one of these I just realized that I only have the ability to do one I completely forgot I do not have double black that is fine okay so they lost their blossoming defense they have two mana left they have to use up all of their mana right now I thought I was safe I thought I was safe Oh my god, don't go like... Oh my god. Oh, okay, good. Just kill like Teferi, please. Just just kill Teferi. Oh, just kill Teferi. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Just kill Teferi. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Good. That's a good play. That's a good play. So they didn't have it. They could have gone for it there. They didn't have it. So just play the last Astrolabe, just draw cards. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, okay. We'll use Assassin's Trophy here at the last possible second. And uh, yeah, just let them, they, they used, uh, they didn't have it, right? Like that, that was one takeaway there. They would have just gone for a life directly, I think. I don't know, maybe it wasn't worth it for them or something. I don't know, well, whatever BS or I don't know. I don't know why they're suiting it all up right now. Do they have double Rancor? Scale up. Oh, sorcery. Sure. I'm happy to take an eight infect. More than happy to take eight infect. Any more though? Mm -mm. More than happy to take eight infect. Sure. Give me black mana. <sighs> sure. Okay. So my options are very few and far in between right now. I need to draw literally removal. That is all I have right now. So give me Taro. Taro is all I have. Oh my God. Yeah, we lost the game. That feels so bad, wow. After all that, after all that, yeah, GG. Uh, yeah, they're just gonna, they fly over us. We're at eight infect. What are you gonna do? Okay. One four gang strikes again. I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried.